Yep. Uh, hello, everybody. So I'm Valentin Schmidt. I'm a system administrator. I'm working at the Berste company. And today, excuse me, yeah. Today, I'd like to thank all the person involved in free software and especially the volunteers here. I trust them to make this event, well, possible and awesome. And I've been granted 15 minutes to talk to you about mail to track. Okay. Uh, I'll just start with a quick presentation of track, um, which is a um, uh, project uh, management tool, and then I'll talk to you about uh, the plugin. Yeah. Uh, so, as, as, as I just said, track is a comprehensive uh, project management tools, which uh, as a, a ticket management system, which is quite quite convenient. Um, it also has a web interface for VCS like uh, Git, Mercurial, um, SVN, for example, and among others. Okay, it also provides a wiki and much more stuff. Um, like a timeline and anyway. Uh, it's written in Python, which is nice, and it's easily extendable by plugins. And of course, it's um, a free software. Uh, that's really under the tree close BSD. So, um, yeah, about that, uh, you can get emails notification when you're using track. That's quite convenient, and if you want to reply to one of these notifications, which is quite intuitive. This is basically what you get. Nothing. So, uh, we are using a lot of tracks in, at my company. We're, we're about 170 tracks running. Uh, so, we needed to create, to comment, and to modify tickets using emails and um, we wanted it to be easily configurable for multiple tracks. So um, there were two plug plugins already existing at this time. One uh, which name is email to track uh, was is written in C, but it was difficult to use with multiple tracks, so it didn't fit our needs. Uh, there were also mail to track, which was just a draft. I, I don't mean a beer, just a draft. And it was written in Python. So it's nice because the whole track community is really about Python. Um, so yeah, we basically carry on the development that the, this guy, this developer named Kos has just begun. Um, so mail to track has some a few features. I'm gonna explain you quickly. Uh, you can create tickets just by sending um, an email to your track with the subject containing create uh, column. You can command tickets. Um, the mail to track plugin is parsing the subject, looking for hash uh, ticket ID. Okay, you can change the priority or um, any any fields of a ticket like components and stuff um, by using tags in the um, in the in the mail. You can add an attachment by attaching it to to your mail. Um, it's compatible with tracks workflow, so if you have uh, defined um, a special workflow for your track, it won't mess with it. It will respect the world stuff and won't break anything. And it handles tracks permissions. Um, the um, permission to command create a ticket, it's all based on tracks workflow. Okay, um, so the workflow of mail to track, um, when you send it a mail, it's redirected redirected to a, a small bash script, 
which name is mail to track admin. It provides a track admin command who um, then tra uh, calls the, um, the mail to track script. Um, so, oh, a bit quick here. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, then the user uh, who send uh, the email is checked against known users by track. Um, so it gives you the authorization, the authentication to do stuff or not. Uh, the whole mail is parsed by mail to track to check fields and to get the action to actually to, to do. And then it uses the tracks for flow to perform this action. Okay, um, here is a quick example. Mm. So Gabel is sending to a track, Marvin. Uh, he wants to create tickets because he needs a root access. And he sets the component sysadmin, he sets the priority critical, and he sets the owner, BB, which is me. And he can use the, um, this tag for saying it's the end of his request. That's not mandatory, but that's convenient. That just, there's the email he sent. So, what do we get? Ah. <laughs> that are the, um, the keywords that are parsed by the main track plugin. So, we get uh, create, oh, I'm sorry. Um, the whole tags that I just explained to you and the end, uh, okay, and that's the answers you get from from the the track, the notification, uh, and we can see the um, right fields have, is, have been set here. Okay, so I will reply to his tickets, obviously. Uh, what happens when I reply that? The um, track, um, the mail track plugin parse the subject and he see the um, hash 42, which he can identify as an existing ticket. And he also gets uh, hash one fix, which is the, um, the status of the ticket. And he set it and he can send, yep, he can send us uh, the notification with with the number of the tickets, uh, the status, which has been modified, and it adds the comments. <coughs> okay, let's talk about future. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, the auth authentication of the users are made using the email address, which is pretty insecure, <laughs> because just you can just change it like this, so the next uh, key feature to we will add is the GPG authentication. That seems important. And we've been thinking about, um, we use a lot of tracks. Uh, we've been thinking about um, doing something with wiki pages, like for requesting it by email and modify, modif modif I'm sorry, modificate it. Um, but that's that's tricky. So if you have any good idea to do that, you're very welcome. Um, you can check the website on TrackX. There is a, a page about the mail to track plugin. And yeah, in case you want more information, there is still the track website, uh, the IRC channel, and. Uh, the Burstock websites. Yeah. So thanks and happy hacking. Um, what do we do? Any questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Um, if you can talk into the microphone. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I, I repeat the question. Yeah, how does it work with uh, several tracks? You um, configure um, your mail transfer agent, uh, like Postfix, for example, to uh, forward the mail to the script. So you can get. Um, so each track has a separate email address? Yep. I'd like to thank uh, Zitune, which is the developer who works on this, this plugin, actually. He spent quite a lot of time, and yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Any more? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs>